How's it going everyone? It's Sam. I want to talk about BNGO today. I want to go over it because there was a new YouTuber that that went a lot more in depth with Simon, tried to break down what BNGO did, what is going on behind the scenes, and I think there's some stuff to hit on about that and even in addition to that. So I would stay through to the end. I'm also going to tell you about two different genomics companies that ARK Invest just bought today for the first time. So usually I put those in their own video, but I will do that if you want me to break it down more in depth. Uh, I'll, I'll tell you those ones towards the end, but I think we need to have on BNGO today because there's a lot of good information. If you guys like this, please leave a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. If you want to hit subscribe, definitely hit subscribe. We're growing a lot. If you want four free stocks through Webull, you can check out the link down below. And if you want to check out the Patreon, you can definitely do that. There's a link down there. We uh, actually just bought a stock yesterday and it went up 35% today. Uh, I told everyone that I was buying it last night. I bought it before, so I told them that I was buying it back when it was 1850. I bought once since then and then I bought again yesterday. So if you guys want to see stocks like that that I'm buying, uh, some of them have been doing really well recently, so you can definitely check that out down below. I try to update you on here too, but sometimes it takes a little bit longer, so check out Patreon down below. But we're talking about BNGO today, and this one has been kind of back and forth the last few days. It had risen up to $7.20. And then it started to fall down and it's been trading a little bit sideways since then. So it's highly volatile right now. We can see up 20%, down 20%, back up, and it's back and forth. So I've been on my toes with this one because this is a company that's really hard to understand. This is a genomics or genomics company and I don't have a background in genomics. I think it's kind of a hard thing to understand. So a lot of the time, a lot of the investors, at least that I know, have been looking at what ARK Invest has been doing. This is a company that has an ETF that is structured just for these types of genomics plays. Uh, So they have been really focusing on this this year. They've done really well. I actually own some of their ETF where they own a bunch of different genomics companies. But Dead Inside, I've got to give them a shout out. Dead Inside talked with ARK Invest. Now, if you've already seen this, uh, I would stay through to this anyways because this is going to break down kind of the video in general. So Dead Inside is someone that owns BNGO, or at least I believe he said that he owns it. He's someone that's really bullish on this. He had been saying that this could raise up to $20. He said, I think in some of his last videos, that this is an opportunity that we will never see again. So he's pretty bullish on this. He reached out to someone that works at ARK Invest and works in the genomics sector, is a researcher, and he had a conversation with him. He the the and the guy that works at ARK Invest posted a bunch of tweets recently on BNGO. Now he wanted to talk to him to kind of get a better feeling because again, this stuff is really dense. So the main th- the main points that I got out of Dead Inside's video is he talked with him. One thing is that ARK Invest owns PACB and they own $750 million worth of that company. It's kind of a competitor. They do something similar to what BNGO does, but they're like 20 or 30 times the size. But there's a recent article that came out that said BNGO actually did something better than this other company, PACB. He was asking, well, if that's the case, or is that the case, do they actually do this that much better, and how significant is that? And you have to take what I'm saying with a grain of salt, because again, Dead Inside is the one that that talked with Simon, and I am trying to understand this video, and I rewatched it. I rewatched it two times. I've watched it three times in general, and it's it's still hard to get my head around everything. So... It sounded like basically Dead Inside was saying, okay, uh, is it important? Is this extra boost better? Uh, That They're supposed to be significantly better than PACB. What Simon said was basically, and again, you know, take this with a grain of salt, basically what they do is better, but only for large structural variants in mapping. So he said that they do that part better, but there are other variants and this is kind of what I said in my video this morning, there are other variants that aren't those large structural variants. So the large structural variants only account for a couple percent of the entire genome that they map. So the majority of what's being mapped is 
not focusing on those uh, large structural variants that BNGO is better at mapping out. So there is a very small case scenario where the technology that BNGO uses is actually more applicable than the rest of it. It's kind of one of those things where they can work in tandem if they need it, but most likely they can use the other thing. They also, or Denside also said, there are really two sectors or two parts of this kind of genomics, which one is research and one is clinical. In clinical, it's much better uh, to be able to see a lot of different things at one time, and that's kind of sounding like what PACB does. And uh, BNGO is more focused on the large structural variants, Research is fine, but the, it sounds like the big money's in uh, in clinicals. Now, I, I wanna break down this video in a second though, uh, after we talk about the research article. So Denside also said that this research article was, I believe, uh, I, I don't remember how he put it, but essentially it didn't go through like a peer reviewed journal necessarily. And I, I could be wrong again, uh, definitely go check out his video too after this, but it's it didn't go through all the proper channels to be like a a very official study and uh Densai was careful about how he said it but it sounded like he was kind of saying like they can throw out what they want and there's not too much backlash obviously if you're a multi hundred million dollar company you don't want to say anything that's a bold-faced lie but in science there are specific things that you can do to make things sound better i mean just uh, remembering where they were at, they were they were close to being delisted for a while. The news came out at a very important time for the company. Now, I'm not trying to be a conspiracy theorist or anything like that, but I think there's a lot of good information in this video. But what I want to see is, let's take a look at the comment section. So, you can see, wait till the people at BNGO call you bro. Uh, they they can't say BNGO is better. Think about it. PACB is ARK's largest holding by far. He's trying to protect hundreds of millions in the stock. Still bullish. If you go through these, a lot of people are still bullish on BNGO. So I think that's interesting. At first I was thinking, okay, is there going to be a massive sell-off? I mean, 32,000 people saw this in the first few hours. I thought maybe that would be the case, but it seems like a lot of people are bullish. Now, what I'm doing and what I kind of think about this is I don't think that Simon would go out there and say that one's better than the other because there's a lot of liability that comes on that. I mean, they, they own or they have tens of billions of dollars in their funds and it just wouldn't make sense for them to do that. I mean, like he said, these can work in tandem. They can work separately, but there's no point in him saying that one works better. Now, I think that what he's saying is probably correct. I don't think he would lie about that either, that BioNano is more direct, uh, very specific, and PACB might be able to do the whole mapping a little bit better. Now, that being said, how does this influence my opinion on the stock? Well, it's going to make me watch it a lot closer. So I had said this in my video today that if it falls down, and actually this is kind of something I've been doing with more penny stocks recently, if it falls down to maybe uh, double what I paid for it, so I paid $1.25, if it goes down to $2.50, I'll probably sell it. That will lock in 100% profit. That will guarantee that you know I'm not in trouble if they actually are about to be delisted. Because remember, they still have to meet certain guidelines. They probably will have to raise capital soon. So if the stock price plummets, it's going to be very detrimental to the company. So I'm going to be watching this one like a hawk, seeing how the market reacts, seeing what people think, uh, looking for more updates. I don't think that Simon would lie about this. I don't think Denside would lie about this or anything like that. Now, a couple companies that ARK has been buying, they bought two new companies in genomics today. So one is FATE stock, Fate Therapeutics, went up. And this one's interesting because they bought it for the first time today. They bought $25 million worth. And the thing is, this company has been going up a ton this year. So if you look just back, even in September, this was a $30 stock, almost in the high 20s. It's up 228% since then, and ARK Invest is just buying now. So that is really interesting to see. I mean, we didn't see even a big push-up. This is a big company too. So we didn't even see a big push-up after market hours. Usually with ARK Invest buying into a company, you see it move up after hours, but this one pretty much trades sideways, actually went down a little bit. 
after they announced that they had bought the stock. Now, I, I think that's something to keep in mind that, you know, it looks like this was actually stopped around 6.03, so I'm not sure why. Usually it goes up until 8 p.m., at least my time. So it is interesting to see maybe it actually did push up. I don't know why it would stop like that, but uh, I'm going to keep an eye on this one. If you guys want me to talk about it more, let me know. I'll definitely do research in it if you guys want. And then there's this one. This one is 10x genomics. This one shot up. So this might give us a little bit of insight into the other one. So this one shot up 7%. This is right around the time that ARK Invest releases what they bought for the day. It was pretty much trading sideways, not trading really much at all. And then it shot up dramatically. So maybe that's what happened with Fate. You can see here, it's literally within two minutes of when the other one shot up. Maybe it shot up so quickly that it, it halted trading. And I'm not sure, I, I could be speculating on that. I'm just curious why it would stop like that because other companies don't. But let me know your thoughts on these down below. Let me know what you think about BNGO or if you want me to do one of these videos on the other stocks here. Thank you guys so much. I really appreciate it. And if you want to see the video that I did earlier today on what ARK Invest is buying, they bought five new companies before this. I listed them all out. I talked a little bit on each of them. Definitely check out this video here. Thanks.